the question going forward really is how does Russia reintegrate into these global institutions? And my initial response is very, with great difficulty, is they're not going to be invited back to the Council of Europe. They're not going to be invited back to the European Court of Human Rights. Uh, they're not going to be part of the SWIFT uh, banking system. I don't see Russia really getting a return ticket back to these institutions at all. The irony is that Russia is actively creating new institutions that it thinks it can control. So you mentioned the BRICS and the attempt to add several new members to the BRICS, but the BRICS is a, not a solid uh, foundation for Vladimir Putin because uh, he can't travel for, to several of the countries of the BRICS. So we just found out that he couldn't go to uh, South Africa, he can't go to Brazil, and so that institution is something that he really can't control, and indeed the only person, the only country that is providing the resources for the BRICS is China. There's also the question of the Eurasian Economic Union, which he basically tries to say has all the advantages of free trade, and yet Putin and Russia uh, is not engaged in free trade. Uh, indeed, it has been excluded from uh, free trade agreements uh, and other institutions. So Russia is not going to be able to use an institution like the Eurasian Economic Union uh, to reintegrate into the global economy. Uh, there just was the uh, meeting in Bishkek of the Commonwealth of Independent States and I was surprised to learn that the flags of Georgia, Ukraine, and Moldova still fly uh, at the uh, CIS uh, gatherings uh, because they technically have not decided to exit that organization. So from what I see is that Russia has trying to recreate institutions that it can control that are similar to Western institutions, but do not have the institutional legacy and history that it can provide a tool for Russia to increase its economy and grow further.